Hey guys, this is Mr. Zare from Landrum Middle School. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to open up and create a program uh, and a project in LEGO Mindstorms EV3. Uh, just remember, whenever you're doing anything, you need to make sure that you use your brain and you think it through. All right. So once you are logged into your computer, you should be on the lookout for the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 icon. The icon happens to be in my quick launch right here, and you can see this is what the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 program looks like. So once you find it, you're going to click it to open it up. Once you open it up, you should notice that you have LEGO Mindstorms Education, and I happen to install the Teacher Edition onto everybody's computer. So you'll have pretty much the same thing that I have here. Uh, the only difference is I have some expansion uh, parts to my app or to my program that you guys won't have. So the first thing that you want to do is go to the left hand side and you're going to scroll up and down if you click these arrows up and down arrows it'll allow you to scroll up and down but you're going to look for the icon that says file and so we're going to click file and I have a couple different options obviously the first one here is open project that's only if you've already created a project since we haven't, we're going to click on New Project. So once I click New Project, I have two options. I can either select Program or Experiment. We're pretty much only going to be doing programs, so I'm going to click on Program, and I'm going to go to the right and click Open. Once I've clicked Open, it's going to load up, and you'll notice <clears throat> that this is our programming space right here. LEGO Mindstorms EV3 for us is going to be based on uh, pictures and icon programming, so it's really simple. Uh, you'll notice that I have a project tab and then I have a program tab. So while I'm in this program, the LEGO Mindstorms EV3, I can have multiple projects open and in each project I can have multiple programs open. So this is really important whenever it comes to organizing your files or organizing your projects and programs on your EV3 brick. It'll make it much easier for you to find your programs that you're trying to run. So first thing that I want to do is simply close the content editor. I'm not going to add anything right now, so I'm just going to come to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to click that. Now. Uh, let's say that I want to change the name of my program. All I got to do is click on it and I can simply just type in whatever I want for the program name. Now obviously that name that I just typed in is not really good. So let's just call it demo1. Okay, And I probably want to change the name of my project as well. All right. So what I'm going to do first is simply go and save project as in the file menu. So I'm going to click Save Project As. I'm probably going to save this to the desktop just for ease of finding it. And I'm going to call this uh, Demo Video because I'm obviously making a video for you guys. So I'm going to type that in. Make sure that I'm saving it in the right location. I want to save it to the desktop. I'm going to click Save. So you can see that my project is called Demo Video and my program is called demo1 if I want to create a second program within this project I just click on that plus icon and I click new program and you'll see that I have another tab if I want to create a new one I'll just double click that and type in demo2 obviously I'm not actually writing a program right now so I've really added something extra that I don't need let's just go back to demo1 okay and in LEGO Mindstorms EV3, it's really simple. Everything's based on icons, uh, and you'll notice down here we have some icons that we can drag and drop and add to our programming window. I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to talk about the different colors and the tabs. You'll notice that green tabs, which will be programming blocks that all have green at the top of them, those are all going to be action tabs. So for example, this is a medium motor, this is a large motor, this is move steering, this is move tank, this is your display, this is making sounds, and this is for changing the lights on the brick. Okay? The second tab is flow control. 
these are going to be extremely important for us and they look really plain and look really simple but there's actually a whole lot of options to go through with these and so we've got start we have wait which is probably the most important one we have loop we have switch and we have loop interrupt the next tab is the yellow sensor tab now I'm gonna warn you that unless I tell you to use the yellow sensor programming blocks you are probably not going to be using those and so you can see that there are a lot of different sensor programming blocks but again we are only going to use those if I tell you so most of the time you're only going to use action and flow control that is it you also have data operations which are going to allow you to collect data using sensors and then do some sort of mathematical analysis with it and then you can simply uh, spit out that information onto your brick or to make it make your robot do something we're typically not going to mess with those right now we also have the advanced tab which we're not going to mess with and we have our own custom blocks this teal color is for my blocks which we're not going to deal with either unless you really want to so let's just say that I want to write a simple program my program always starts with the start programming block okay if it doesn't have this then my programs never gonna start okay you'll also notice that when you hover over this play button it seems to be an active button and if you actually press that once you have a program it will actually cause your robot to start functioning and following the program that you've created so let's just say I want to make a simple program I'm not going to worry about what I'm dragging and dropping I'm just going to write it uh, and the way that I do that is just simply drag and drop so let's say I want to do that and again I'm not worried about what I'm doing I'm just showing you how this is done so I've added another one and let's say that I want to add another one here okay so obviously this program is totally worthless It's not going to do anything for for the most part because I have a loop in here that is not looping anything and I have a large motor going one rotation and I've got move tank going for one rotation so this is just a goofy program I just want to show you how easy it is to drag and drop and you'll notice that everything has different options and we'll talk about those in the future whenever we go over these different issues uh, let's say once I have my program done I'm ready to actually download it once I plug in my brick the way that we're going to download our programs is going to be right here in the bottom right hand corner we've got a download only button right here which is not active we have a download and run button which is also not active and we have a download and run only the selected section you'll see that whenever we actually get into more programming there's also some other things down here which I will show you later whenever we actually start doing some programming and connecting our robots to the computer so for that I just wanted to show you how to open up this program and how to simply uh, kind of navigate your way around it uh, there are a lot more options you're gonna have tons of time to take a look at those options and figure out what they do plus I'm gonna give you guys lots of different uh, other assignments and uh, programming tasks that we'll go through so that's pretty much it I just want to remind you guys to make sure to use your brain make sure you think things through and always do the right thing so I'll see you guys later have a good one